Now, how do you deal with that? Oh when my walk God! Up and, uh, and they say they, you know, they love you and they want you to sign autographs and this sort of thing. Never seen this before. It feels good. Yeah. It's cool that I, that I know I have fans. How's it going? I'm Tyler Posting. I'm gonna watch my first ever MTV appearances. I have no idea what to expect. I don't know how far back that goes. I assume it's from Teen Wolf, but who knows? Let's find out. Oh my Tyler God. Garcia Posey, the incredible young actor who's in this film. How do you do? Great. Tell us what it was like working with Jennifer Lopez. She was really, it, it was really fun to work with her. She treated me like a, like I was her son. I was so nervous for this. I, uh, I had no idea how to talk to journalists. I remember with my ear pierced. A little badass. So he's single. You're keeping your options open, that's fine. He's well, single, I'm 11 years old. <laughs> Wow, that was awesome. Okay, here's another one. Still don't know what to expect. This looks old. This doesn't look like Teen Wolf. My name is Tyler Posey, and I play Scott McCall, the uh, werewolf in Teen Wolf. This was, uh, so we were invited to this Comic-Con before we were even Teen Wolf. We had just finished, I think, the pilot presentation, not even the full season. But this was like one of the greatest experiences of our lives. We had this dope hotel. We all became super close with each other. We got drunk. We messed around. We met all these celebrities like Seth Green, and we had so much fun. This was the greatest trip as a cast. We had the greatest time. It's literally the vacation. You guys ever been to Comic-Con? I'm gonna say. It's so much fun. So this is one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I'm getting anxiety watching We gave that guy a hundred dollar bill and he gave us back eight ones. Hey dude, and this guy's- yeah. Give me a second, dude! You can see how scared I am! Some guy came out and started hitting my brother's new Escalade with a, with a, with a crowbar. And I almost ran him over, I was gonna run him over, I remember that was my- I was gonna run him down. And then Bam Margera comes running out of this restaurant, so up until this point, I still don't know I was being punked, and then my brother threw money at my face and said, you've been punked. I wanted to do it again, like right afterwards. I was walking with Bam. Bam's always been a huge hero of mine. I, I grew up watching Jackass. I grew up filming little Jackass things with my brother, who punked me, and grew up loving MTV. I grew up loving MTV, watching Viva La Bam, watching Jackass, and one of the craziest moments I was ever had with me, and I wanted to do it again. I was just full of, like, adrenaline. That was really fun and unexpected. We went down memory lane really far back to Made Manhattan days and got very sentimental, and then up to more recent days where I got punked to one of the greatest moments of my life. So thank you for strolling down memory lane with me. This has been Tyler Rosie.